Now to a developing story right here in Denver. The city working quickly to care for a busload of migrants who arrived without notice. The city is caring for about 100 people, but it's still not clear where they're from or who sent them here. For now, though, the migrants are staying at a city rec center. The city provided this picture of cots set up on the gym floor. It has asked us to not reveal the location for security reasons. Marissa Armas on that story tonight. Marissa, we know Denver has the resources to help, but usually it gets some advance notice. That's right, Jim. Usually they get more of a notice, but over the last few months, they've been seeing more and more migrants show up here with not much information, leaving many of them asking just as many questions as us. Right now, the city says it's considering activating their emergency operations center, which would get more agencies involved to help with the situation. Overnight, at least 100 migrants showing up in Denver. We were notified this morning that we had an influx of migrants arrive at one of our homeless shelters, and they obviously are already pretty much taxed. The city and county of Denver quickly mobilizing to house the families who arrived here with little to no direction. We have set up an emergency shelter at one of our rec centers. While the migrants arrived by bus, city officials and advocates are working to find out who sent them, how they got here, and why. Officials say they didn't get any notice that the group was coming. And we have not had a chance to talk to them more, um, but we do anticipate that coming uh, in you know, the next few days. Right now, the nationality of the migrants is unknown, and they don't know if this was political in nature like what we saw earlier this year in cities like New York and Massachusetts. But the city is working with its partners to help these migrants get on their feet in the meantime. Denver is a very welcoming city. We work to provide resources and support to migrants who find themselves in our city and in this situation, it's no different, just on a larger scale. Now, we do know these migrants speak Spanish. We're being told that some will likely stay here temporarily, others likely longer. The city does say that it's already working with those local organizations to make sure that they have the resources that they need. There are already groups collecting donations. For more on that, you could visit our website. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.